Decoding Radio Effects, next on Broken Signal. What is WeFax? Is the National Weather Service using radio fax to transmit slow scan analog images over HF frequencies? They will transmit weather maps, radar images, and other useful information. In the description below, I'll include the URLs to the radio fax schedules. This one is the Atlantic Ocean Radio Fax, which is out of Boston, Massachusetts. It tells you which frequencies are it's transmitting on during the day and at night. It tells you the current UTC time and has the schedule of which charts will be transmitted at which times UTC time. I'll also include the National Hurricane Center Marine Radio Fax link which tells you the same information, the frequencies, which time those frequencies are used, and what's being transmitted at what time. Now, let's download the software that we'll need. Open a web browser, search for FLDIGI. The first result should be W1HKJ.com. The software we're looking for is FLDIGI, so we'll click the link for FLDIGI. On the index page, go down and look for the EXE. Click that to start the download. It'll ask you to save the file. Once it's done, Let's open the executable. On the install, let's click continue on the license agreement. Select next on the optional components. We will have it installed in program files, that will be fine. Click install. And click close when completed. Now on the desktop, double click the FLDIGI icon. You should already have an SDR software and VB cable installed. If not, my YouTube channel has videos that will guide you through the process. Now we'll configure it. Under Op Mode, select WeFax, WeFax IOC 576. Your LPM should be 120. There's a checkbox next to the Align, Enable Automatic Image Centering, make sure that is checked. Now start your SDR software. And you want to make sure that the red line is centered on the two yellow bars in the waterfall. You're going to have to adjust your frequency to get it to line up correctly. This can take a little bit of trial and error. Once the image starts downloading, you should see this black bar. The black bar needs to be on the left side, so if you have to move it, you could use the align function down here to adjust where the black bar is. Move it until you see it on your left side. You might have to uncheck the align to get it to stay there. Then you see that it's not a straight line, so we need to adjust the slant. Give it a couple clicks and then let it load a little bit more so you can see if it's straight. and continue until you have a straight line. Once you have it adjusted, then you just let it run and it'll download the images.
and now you're decoding WeFax RadioFax images. Thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And if this video helped you, please hit the like. Thank you.